Today I'm going to tell you about stages of HIV infections and we are going to start right after this. What is going on? My name is Abdul Bashawoth and welcome to another video. And if this is your first time here and you want to learn about drugs in general, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. This is the third video in the HIV AIDS video series. Uh, without treatment with HIV medicines, HIV infection advances in stages getting worse over time. And the three stages of HIV infection are acute HIV infection, chronic HIV infection, and AIDS, which stand for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. There is no cure for HIV, but treatment with HIV medicines called antiretroviral therapy, or sometimes uh, it's abbreviated as ART, can slow or prevent HIV from advancing from one stage to the next. HIV medicines help people with HIV live longer, healthier lives. So let's start with acute HIV infection. Acute HIV infection is the earliest stage of HIV infection and it generally develops within two to four weeks after infection with HIV. During this time, some people have flu-like symptoms uh, such as fever, headache, and rash. In the acute stage of HIV infection, HIV multiplies rapidly and spreads throughout the body. The virus attacks and destroys the infection-fighting CD4 cells of the immune system. During the acute HIV stage, the level of HIV in the blood is very high, uh, which greatly increases the risk of HIV transmission. A person may experience significant health benefits if they start ART uh, during this stage. Uh, second stage uh, is the chronic HIV infection, also called asymptomatic HIV infection or clinical latency. Uh, during this stage, HIV continues to multiply in the body, but at very low levels. People with chronic HIV infection may not have any HIV-related symptoms. Uh, without ART, chronic HIV infection usually advances to AIDS, in 10 years or longer, though in some people it may advance faster. People who are taking ART uh, may be in this stage for several decades. While it is still possible to transmit HIV to others during this stage, people who take ART exactly as prescribed and maintain undetectable viral load have effectively no risk of transmission HIV negative partner uh, through sex. And the last stage is AIDS. AIDS is the final and most severe stage of HIV infection. Uh, because HIV has severely damaged uh, the immune system, the body can't fight off opportunistic infection. Opportunistic infections are infections and infection-related cancers that occur more frequently or are more severe in people with weakened immune system than in people with healthy immune systems. People with HIV are diagnosed with AIDS if they have a CD4 count of less than 200 uh, cells per millimeter cube or if they have certain opportunistic infections. Once a person is diagnosed with AIDS, they can have a high viral load and are able to transmit HIV to others very easily. Without treatment, uh, people with HIV AIDS uh, typically survive about three years. If you have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comments section below. If you want to learn more about drugs, how they work, their side effects, interactions, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.